Hi, my name is Carlos Kern and I'm a developer support engineer for Havoc. And I'm here at the Intel booth demonstrating some of the capabilities of our engine, some of the capabilities of our different middleware solutions running on Intel. I have several demos that I like to show people just because they're really exciting to look at. They really demonstrate the, the advantage that you get out of Havoc over anybody's competing physics solution, cloth solution, anything like that. So this demo is really kind of a showcase demo for the Havoc destruction system. Uh, what you'll be able to see is different fracture patterns that occur when artists are able to author, you know, modify their models with different fracture patterns, give them different material properties. You can see the different kind of destruction that occurs with contact with, with uh, wood and glass. And then once we enter the room, there's a lot of different model changes to the models with response to destruction that occur automatically when an artist just specifies the, the kind of pattern, the kind of destruction, but they don't have to author every individual piece. We're able to calculate that at runtime based on where the impact occurred. And it is absolutely glorious fun to run around and destroy ancient antiquities. We're not fans of antiquities at Havoc. We like brand new good stuff. This is a demonstration of our cloth simulation technology. And this is one of my favorites because it's really clear. It shows what Havoc can do for you that you don't have to do for yourself. On the right hand side, you see the troll. It is really well animated. The artist does a great job. But on the left hand side, the integration of the soft body dynamics and the cloth simulation, they add a lot of life to him. You can see the skin moving around, around his legs. You can see that the um, his belly has got a lot more jiggle to it. You know, he's kind of an overweight ogre. He's got a lot of motion around his neck. And then all the pieces of his outfit, you know, they behave differently. His, the cloth around of his neck, his loincloth, you know, they're simulated. They get a lot of movement at runtime. But they're a little bit different material than his helmet and the feathers on top of his head. They move differently too. All of that is integrated with Max and Maya. Artists are able to author, you know, what kind of movement they want where how much simulation they want, and then we handle the rest at runtime. It's fully optimized, runs on every platform, multi-threaded, it's great. And this is just an initial scene in the Havoc Vision engine, which we, which we just started releasing to clients this year. Um, it comes integrated with, uh, with Havoc Physics and Havoc AI in, in Vision Plus. It's a full gameplay solution, a full game engine uh, with advanced rendering, it's got shader, shader editors built right into it. It's integrated with, with script. You can modify your game logic very easily. There's an integrated debugger. It receives the full benefit of all the, uh, the Havoc products being optimized and, it's, and from being built with the same kind of vision of, of freedom. We're not trying to tell anybody how to build their technology. We just want to give them the freedom to be able to do it quickly. So we've, we've partnered with a lot of people to add features to the game, to the engine. And it is very easy to you swap out to integrate your own render and integrate your own shader rendering. You know, we give you a lot of, of features to be able to hot swap if that's what you want to do. And for more information, just go ahead and visit www.havoc.com.